Hi, my name is Philip Maher. I do product planning and product marketing here at Cyan Computer Corporation. We're here at Super Competing 22 in the great state of Texas out here in Dallas. And we are showing off a bunch of products based off of the new AMD Epic fourth generation processors, formerly codenamed AMD Genoa. This platform is pretty exciting for a number of use cases, especially in the HPC field. We're seeing a core count increase up to 96 cores, which allows us for a lot of interesting high performance competing applications. We also see memory channels increased up to 12, and this allows us to go up to 24 DIMMs on a single socket platform, uh, which is, again, great for a lot of HPC applications which require high core counts and, and high memory footprints. We've launched a new 4U platform that we call the FT65T B8050. This is a 4U workstation platform. It's also convertible, so we can do a, a rail kit to put it in a 4U rack mount. It's a single socket AMD Epic pl uh, platform based off of the Epic 9004 Genoa part. We got eight DIMM slots on the board and we can support up to three double wide GPU accelerators. And we've got a fairly quiet workstation platform here using an ACX power supply and three large fans, which allow us to run up to they're on the 50 to 55 decibel range at full load, which makes it fairly acceptable to put under a desk in even an HPC workload. We have a new 2U platform based off the Epic 9004 as well. The TS70B8056 is a general purpose 2U platform that supports maximum TDP. One of the really cool things about the new Epic 9004 platform is the core count, but to get to 96 cores, you have to go up to about 400 watts of TDP. So what we're seeing a lot of our customers move to is moving to a 2U platform because you can put the big 2U heatsink on the thing. And so our general purpose 2U platform is great for this. We can support the entire Genoa 9004 SKU stack all the way up to 400 watts. And this TS70 chassis is great for general purpose applications. We have 12 three and a half inch charge drives and four of them also support U.2 NVMe. So you can mix and match bulk high capacity storage with flash for a, a high performance cache tier. We have an additional platform based off of the 8056 motherboard that we call the TS70A B8056. This is a 2U platform that is single socket Epic 9004 and it is targeting high density, high performance flash applications. So we get single socket Genoa 9, Epic 9004 up to 400 watts. So we have the entire SKU stack um, and we have 26 two and a half inch bays up front. All of them support E.2 NVMe. So it's high density flash and we also have support for a PCI Express Gen 5 by 16 OCP3 NIC mezzanine, which means we can support up to 400 gigabit networking to complement the 26 NVMe drives at the front of the system. And lastly, we have a 1U platform with, based off our 8056 motherboard. We call it the GC68A B8056. It's a 1U system that's based off of Epic 9004 and we currently are targeting CPU TDP up to around 300, 320 watts, which gets us into the 96 core territory but it gives us 12 U.2 NVMe bays uh, on the front of the system. We have 24 DIMM slots so we can support max memory capacity on Epic, and we have three PCI Express Gen 5x16 slots. This means you can go as high as three, 400 gigabit NICs. I don't know if you would, but it basically means that you can balance as much networking as you want with your high performance flash. A lot of times with flash storage, you can kind of outkick your coverage and deploy way more flash than you can support with networking. But with a 1E package like this, it's fairly balanced, you can fit, fit as much flash as you want in the system and be able to support it with as much uh, high performance networking as you can fit. It's been a great year here at SC22. It's been great to get back out and see our customers and see our colleagues again after a few years out, out of the trade shows. So looking forward to seeing you guys again at SC23 in Denver, Colorado.